All right, it's time to get this axle rebuilt. Finally found one. Been looking for a while. They're kind of hard to come by these days. So, in that Trail Gear solid axle swap kit, they give you um, basically a rebuild kit for the knuckles and then a gusset for the top here and then another little brace I guess you'd say a little cover for the front cover of the diff in here right here and I gotta cut some stuff off like that stock mount there the sway bar mounts on both sides and the steering steering stabilizer mount so you cut all that off because it's no longer needed and weld that brace on you gotta weld a they give you a plate for the driver's side. Um, it's like a three eight, three eighths inch thick plate, just to bump that driver's side up a little bit. So we're gonna weld all that on. Rebuild axle. I'm putting a. It's a FJ80 out of a Land Cruiser, a high pinion third member. So it helps quite a bit with pinion angle. And obviously clearance and all that good stuff. So I got one on the way. Finally found one of those. Those are even harder to find than a front axle. So, yeah, we're going to get cutting first. I'm going to cut all those mounts off before I open the axle up. Get all that figured out. And then we'll rip these knuckles apart. And rebuild all that. All the bearings, seals, wipers. Um, obviously I'm doing high steer so new knuckles, steering knuckles, rotors, use the IFS calipers. So pretty much going through the entire axle except I'm not really going to touch the uh, axle shafts at all. Those are going to be stock so that's that. Let's get to it. So what I'm using is just a four and a half inch cutoff wheel. Seems to do pretty good. So we'll see what she can do. Well, there's that. So just go around, and do that to both sway bar, that one, that one, and steering stabilizer. Cut those off, and then we'll get a grinding disc and grind all the rest off. Get it all smoothed out. Pretty simple stuff. All right, we got all the mounts cut off. That one was more of a pain to get in there. So next, just got this grinding wheel. These ones, these ones do pretty good work, so go to town with that for a little while and then get a flap disc on it to kind of smooth it all out. And then we'll uh, weld some, weld that truss on and that other cover plate for the front. All right, we got all the grinding done. I left some on the top because it's going to be covered up anyway by that gusset. So grind the spring pad down. Get that on there. We're going to weld that on. Weld the plate. Where'd it go? Right here. This plate gets welded on there. And then there's that other mouth that was ground off. So I'm going to get that tacked on. 
and get it welded up. So make sure you go through and clean everything. I ground all the edges of this and then go through with like acetone and wipe everything down real good before you weld it just to keep it clean. All right, I got that pad tacked on, so I'm gonna go and do a weld on this side. There's the weld. This is a flux core machine, so you gotta chip your slag off. And it's been a while since I've actually used this thing. I've been running the TIG for a while. So, getting used to, trying to get used to this thing again. That one doesn't look too pretty, but we'll see if we can get the other one to look a little better. All right guys, I started um, on the back side. I tried the stick. I suck at stick. I've never really done it. And that little piece of shit doesn't really weld. So I'm taking it. So I'll set the camera up here and show you guys a little TIG action. Those are a little better, but this axle's getting pretty hot. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and then finish stitching it up. You're supposed to really only do like one inch stitches on it just to keep it, help it from uh, not warping the whole axle, so. All right, I'm gonna finish welding this side up. Give you guys some more shots at it. Try to get a close up of this one. Hopefully, I'm not in the way. 